Hey everyone, Eric here. And today I wanna to show you a couple different ways to boost the performance, efficiency, and speed of working in layout. Okay, so for those of you that work on really big models or really detailed construction documents, and if you're like me and you spend some time in layout, sometimes you'll find that the more information you get, the heavier your model gets and the more detailed your construction documentation gets, uh, performance could possibly slow down. Now, the latest version, what I'm using here behind me, version 2024, has a few tricks on how to deal with that. Let's go ahead and take a look right now. Okay, so here I am in my layout file. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail about how I created this file necessarily or why I've set it up, because that's not really the point of this video. What I wanna do is look at things like, if I'm gonna be working on you know, tracing and annotating and stacking viewports, I wanna make th sure that things are going quickly for me and smoothly. So let's pop over to a context or concept plan diagram that I am in the process of building out. One that kind of shows this potential project location in sort of a block or walk uh, walking diagram, and the other one, sort of more a site-specific diagram. Again, that's not the point, but that's what we're working with. So what I wanna do firstly is come over here to, depending on if you're on a, a Mac or PC, it's gonna be a different location, but I'm gonna go layout settings, um, also called preferences. And then here I wanna show you, if you're not already on there, find performance. So performance, there's a couple things. When I said there's a couple things, um, one of them, you don't really have to do anything. It's called Graphics Engine. And Layout has a new experimental graphics engine, which helps with performance gains. Now, this is all under the hood stuff. So I don't exactly know how this works, but by default, it should be enabled. So when I turn that on and off, you might see sort of the viewports or something re-render. And that's also why it says Experimental Graphics Engine. So, you know, um, if you do come across any problems, you could always disable that, but I like to keep that going. I definitely want to make sure that that is enabled. So while I'm in the preferences, the second thing I want to show you here is draft mode. Now, you may have seen this in Aaron's, you know, what's new in 2024 video, but I want to go a little bit more in depth of how this works. So draft mode is kind of an optional setting. You'll notice that if I'm not in draft mode, if I'm zooming and panning, right, or if I'm drawing lines, or if I'm trying to move objects, you'll notice that everything in my viewport stays rendered. So that's kind of the default way that layout works. So you've got shadows, you've got lines, you've got the model underneath, you've got the SketchUp model that sits underneath all this, this line work. Now, what draft mode does, if I come back over here and enable that, it gives you a few options. Firstly, it says, do you want it always on or do you want it to only be on for pan and zoom? And the second thing it gives you, option it gives you, is do you want to turn off the SketchUp viewport and or do you want to turn off or disable rastered rendered objects? Let's go ahead and turn off, let's go ahead and make sure that all of those are checked. And for right now, I'm gonna say pan and zoom only and you're gonna see why in a second because I'm gonna change that and we're gonna look at another way to turn this on and off. So I'm gonna close that. And again, now what happens here, you can see when I move the viewport now, when I zoom in, the SketchUp model, because the SketchUp model is set to raster currently, you can see if I zoom in, I've got my uh, rendering mode set to raster, it kind of disappears. Now, not only does that disappear, but any other raster objects on the page, like in this case, my SketchUp logo is raster. So as I'm panning, or as I'm zooming, all that stuff just turns off. And that's cool because even though I didn't really see um, any slowdown with this particular layout, I've got sort of two SketchUp viewports and I've got a series of line weights and sort of annotations on top of it. I've got an image. Um, that's not really enough, I think maybe, to sort of slow me down. But even things like turning shadows on, you'll notice the shadows turn off and you're getting, you're left with almost like a preview of your line work. Now. Let's say I wanna keep my SketchUp showing. There's a couple of different ways we can do that. We can either switch our render mode. So if I come into my SketchUp viewport, I can switch from raster to either vector or hybrid. And then if I pop out of there, you'll notice when I pan and zoom, 
it's still disappearing, but that's because in the settings, I said disable SketchUp viewport. So if I turn that off now, it doesn't matter if raster rendered objects is still enabled. If I now pan and zoom, you can see that I'm able to leave my SketchUp model in place and all of the sort of heavier rendered objects like shadows and thick line weights and images and things like that, that'll go ahead and turn off as I'm working in draft mode. Now, I'm only doing this for, again, I'm doing this for pan and zoom only, but if you really wanted to, you could leave draft mode always on. Like for example, if I knew I was gonna do some annotations, like I wanna come over here and do some dimensioning, it could be a smart idea to have draft mode left always on because then you can see here, let me go ahead and actually this is a good point for me to switch gears and say, well, wait a minute, I wanna go back and forth between showing draft mode, draft mode and not showing it. And I don't wanna go back into settings and then turning on and turning off every single time. That's just kind of be a little bit of pain because I know I'm gonna to wanna to go back and forth between draft mode and my preview mode. So here I can come over to shortcuts and type in draft and you may already have a key established. I'm gonna go ahead and add Shift D for that and Shift D because I'm thinking turn on draft mode. So Shift D um, and then let's see what happens. So now I don't have to go back into that system preferences. I don't have to come back here and click that button every single time and enable and disable. I just hit Shift D and what it does is it gives me my preview mode and Shift D gives me my draft mode. And notice the difference here. Maybe this is not the best example. Up here, for example, if I wanna do some dimensioning, I've got some thick line weights, I've got some rastered edges, I've got property line shadows, I've got all this information. Well, I just hit Shift D on my keyboard, and now I'm left with just this sort of simple boundary. Now I can come over here and draw a line and snap to that. Or again, I can grab, um, not Shift D, but D. See, that's why I said Shift D, because now I wanna grab a dimension. I can see that corner much easier um, compared to when I have this thick, all these thick line weights and layered graphics on top. So that's really cool. I'm seeing that you know the combination of, of whether I wanna use the raster for my SketchUp model, whether I wanna go hybrid, whether I want to show draft mode only when I'm panning and zooming, or whether I wanna use it as a key cut or a shortcut key, excuse me, so that I can just kind of decide, um, you know, so I can work on just various elements. Like I want to just dimension this here. And then you can see there's just zero hang, zero lag. Doesn't matter how many, how heavy um, my model is, which this model here is um, a pretty decent model that I'm working on that I used. Doesn't matter sort of how much information I bring into layout. It's going to just kind of keep performing nice and quick for me. So again, it's not bad for me with all everything turned on, but if you do find yourself for any reason with things starting to slow down, just enable that draft mode. And whether you wanna do it with a keyboard shortcut or um, just panning and zooming, it's kind of gonna be an option for you. So that's it. Again, use that experimental graphics, give it a try. If you have any problems with it, you can always turn it off. It is experimental, by the way. And then that draft mode, it's a really cool thing. Um, again, I think you can't take my word for it. You just gotta go try it yourself. And you gotta see the difference because it's also gonna depend on your computer. It's gonna depend on the model that you're working on. And it's gonna depend on what you're doing in your layout viewport. You know, what kinds of styles are you using? What are you stacking on top of it? You know, what are you layering? And I think ultimately the customizability to let you sort of figure out what works for your workflow. Um, I really like it, I'm digging it. I'm gonna say, let's keep using that. I love that keyboard shortcut. So I wanna leave you there. Again, go out and try it yourself. And uh, while you're at it, if you learned something new, if you haven't tried draft mode, if you haven't, if you've been hesitant to get into layout, now's your chance. Jump in with version 2024 and I will leave you there. Thanks for watching and see you next time.